On Saturday night, CBS's 48 Hours Mystery told the compelling story of a man who spent nearly two decades trying to get out of prison for a grisly crime that he never committed. 48 Hours correspondent Richard Schlesinger is here with the latest on the man's continuing battle. Richard, good morning. Morning, Chris. You probably remember this case from your yeah. time in Texas. It's about Anthony Graves, who was convicted of killing six people including four children, all members of the same family. He spent 12 years on death row in Texas and had two execution dates. Graves always said he didn't do it, like most prisoners on death row. But late last year, after a lengthy investigation by a journalism class in Houston and an appellate court decision tossing out his conviction, prosecutors finally exonerated Graves and set him free. Cry, baby, cry. Your dad is free. Anthony Graves has waited for this moment since 1994 when a Texas jury said guilty six times. But while he walked out of prison finally last October, there's still more to his story. And I'm basically still relying on, on other people to help me, assist me, because right now, you know, I'm, I have no money. He should have plenty of money, about $1.5 million. That's what Texas state law says 18 years of wrongful imprisonment is worth. They stole 18 years of my life, man, for something I didn't even know anything about. And they tried to murder me. He'd at least have the money if it weren't for a paperwork snafu. The prosecutor who dismissed the charges and set him free did not write that there was evidence of, quote, actual innocence. And because he didn't use those two words, Graves doesn't get one penny. Two words, two words. They're holding me hostage behind two words. It really is that simple. Prosecutors held a news conference and publicly exonerated Graves. There's not a single thing that says Anthony Graves is involved in this case. Prosecutor Bill Parham cleared Graves in no uncertain terms. It's just the term he used was not actual innocence. So Anthony Graves, who paid a debt to society that the state now says he never owed, has to wait and hope that the state pays him a debt. There's very little question it now owes. What if it was you? What if it was you? Would you want them to put red tape in the way of your justice? Well, the prosecutor who refuses to use the words actual innocence now says it's up to the state legislature to change the law. So the fight over those two very valuable words has become a finger pointing game. And so far, Graves hasn't seen a cent, Chris. It seems a little unfair. It seems a lot unfair. And I know this piece struck a chord with your viewers. Talk about your Facebook it, it page. Did. We, we <laughs> had this amazing uh, Facebook response, the biggest one we've ever gotten. Uh, we've gotten more than 3,000 responses and more than 900 likes to our Facebook question, which said, should Anthony Graves be compensated? That's the question this morning. Wow. All right. Lots of, uh, lots of people commenting on that. Richard, thank you. Good to talk to you this Good morning. To see you.